That's your dad. Yeah, cause so don't be looking at your dad by listening to your mom and feeling from the mom what comes out her mouth. Because, hey, that's your dad. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that brought you into this world. Because of honor your father and mother. But yeah. a lot of times the reason family dad ain't around is because of the mama. We ain't saying, I don't know about your situation, but usually that's the case. Majority of the majority of the time is the woman's fault. She got tired. And the woman, if you lose your job just for a month, the woman will leave you. Yeah, you be replaced. Like you ain't no goddamn good. And that's wicked. That is just wicked. You ain't never supposed to leave your man for no reason. I don't give a fuck if you, you know, but you're both uh, dirt poor. Got no money, homeless. You know, this black woman has committed treason against the so called black woman. Yeah, it's treason. 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 Worthy of death. And you know what? And I'm telling you, man, I don't see no more than 99% of them make. I don't see no more than that. I mean, uh, I don't see no more than 1% of the black woman make. I don't see it. I just don't see it. <laughs> you know? It can be a Latino women and uh. Because right, 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 right. they're not women. Because we don't need them for them to come back. Because then a Latino, Latino woman, they stay with their husband. Yeah, damn well, right. for the most part. Yeah. They starting yeah. to get polluted by this shit. Come, you come here, yeah. yeah. You come here and shit. But, 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 but I'm being realistic, I'm being real, real, man. I like them boots. Check out the boots. Damn. She got some kids. A lot of these women ain't gonna make it. Now the scripture said they are enemy anyway. We don't need them to come back. You are your nation. You. Yeah. You bring back your nation. So if you deliver in the kingdom with whatever amount of women you want, that's how you're gonna bring that nation back. You know? <laughs> By all that sex you have. And you going to have a lot of sex. A lot of people brothers say they, oh man, I just want one, one woman, one, one woman. Man, when you put in that situation when you can choose 20, 30, 40, 50, 1,000 women, you're going to do exactly that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you got a bunch of women coming at you, what are you going to do? Turn them? Right, right. Like, sorry, but no. There right. goes Pat. Hey, listen. A man, oh, that is a Pat. That is a Pat. A man in his glory, in his power, in nice apparel, well, we can we be wearing these black jeans and shit, this bullshit we wear. We're we gonna have golden girdles, you know what I'm saying? Gar we're gonna be wearing garments. We're gonna wear a nice oh, made, out, garments. made out of nice linen, you know what I'm saying? And that, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. One material. Yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna be fit for you only. Yep. Fit for you only, man. These women gonna be looking at us like we, we're gonna be superstars, man. We're gonna be literally. You think Michael Jordan was somebody? You think Kobe Bryant was somebody? That ain't shit. That ain't shit compared to what the least Israelite man gonna be in the kingdom. Their riches, their riches, like the scriptures say, their their gold and their silver is cankered. <laughs> cankered, right? It's cankered, right? You know, it's not even. Well, I mean, they look good right now, but they, man, they, they, they ain't nothing, man. When this society break down, they gonna look just like the average bomb, homeless motherfucker, man. And I'm talking about these super rich niggas that think they're super rich. They ain't really super rich. Most of them blow their money. Like they said, Vince Young is already like filed for bankruptcy. Well, he got a new job doing something now. But there for a minute, they said he was broke as hell. He, you know Vince Young is? That's good you don't watch sports. I'm proud of him. From Texas. He's yeah. quarterback in Texas. Yeah. Yep. Watching sports is a waste of time, bro. That's the biggest waste of brain space you could ever waste. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just sitting here watching the game after fucking game after game. All, you spend all day Saturday and Sunday in front of the TV. Saturday, you're watching college. Well, college, college there's more college games you know, than pro. Way more. I know I know people who actually watch, like, every college game. As much as they can. Well, they have two TVs going on at once. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it? Oh, the screen within the screen. Ooh, my gra my grandpa was like that. My grandpa, he had two TVs going with the radio on. I mean, he, he, he went hard with his shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those same cops that just waved, eyeballed us on the way back, and now they just waved to that's us. Another thing. That's another thing, though. See, my grandpa is on my mom's side. He, he wasn't on my dad's side, but still, he's still one of my grandpas. I mean, he cared more about uh, sports than his family. You know what I mean? He never spent no time with me, with none of us. 
Yeah, our cousin's about to have a baby. My grandpa's on the deathbed. It's like middle of October or something. Mm. And all he could think about was like, I just want to live to see the World Series. <laughs> and yeah. didn't care about the baby coming. Yeah, he <laughs> That's a fool fool. He said screwdriver. He's talking about the bones and shit. This is Jeremiah 81. At that okay. time, loud ass bus got to pull up. This motherfucker come every goddamn 10 minutes. At that time, said the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah, and the bones of the princes, and the bones of the priests, and the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves, and they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the hosts of heaven. Watch them archaeology shows, Discovery Channel, yeah. or whatever. You, this is perfect script. Out with the but they did shit up. They be having little brushes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Dusting it off and shit, laying it out, you know? Yep. Crazy That's ass devil. And they shall spread them before the sun and before the moon and all the hosts of heaven, whom they have loved and whom they have served and after whom they have walked and whom they have sought and whom they have worshipped and they worship bones for damn sure. They shall not be gathered nor be buried. They shall be for dung upon the face of the earth. What's up, homie? You a so-called Jew? Take that as a yes. He had the whole Jew family with him. They weren't even headed this way. They was just trying to walk past us. Because they walked down the street over there, then came to the light, and then came that way. There's a family of doubles. They were about to call the cops on us. He called me a Jew. There's some anti-Semites out here. We, they call the cops on us so many times. You know what the cops do come? They'll come and speak to us. I guarantee you. Guys just I, I bet you a lot of them cops these days don't like the most Jew motherfuckers either. Oh, you know they don't. Yeah. You know they don't. Unless they're working up in Bexley. Shit, the that's cops are paying their paycheck. They're on the internet now, so they, yeah. they watch too. Because, man, I was just on Alex Jones' video today. Uh, damn near any Alex Jones video I get up on there, or any video on it, any news story, and I read the comment boards, and there be comments saying, uh, this is all, this, the Jew, the Zionist are in control of the world. And I have, you know how you can thumbs up comments? That comment have like 200 thumbs ups on it. Wow. You know what I mean? That's funny you said that, because I was just reading an article of Chinese just to prove that, uh, that missile that goes down there 10,000 miles an hour. <laughs> That's crazy. And I was starting, you know, we always read the, uh, uh, the comments. The comments is better than the video. The comments had nothing to do with the video. I never. And it was talking about killing Jews. A that's how almost every comment board is <laughs> like that now. They were saying, the, the comments were saying the Jews are behind the war. Yep. They, which they are. They're behind all the world problems. And, the, and the only have. people that have a, that will come up against them are the so-called Jews themselves. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Because you know, you know the, uh, Israel, the state of Israel, the state of Esau, <laughs> they, they actually pay people to troll the internet. They, they pay people to get on the comment boards, to uh, post comments, to uh, type in pro-Israel mm -hmm. shit. Look, they're down there having a family huddle right now. They have, oh, come back. They have the world wealth behind them. Yep. So spending a, a billion, big five, five billion dollars on, on um, what you call uh, debunking. Uh, yeah, uh, or, or, or whatever, man. Yeah. That ain't nothing. Well, they, they pay him to get on Wikipedia and to change articles and to make them uh, favor the, those devils over there. Mm. They, they actually got videos of the so-called Jews giving classes on how to edit Wikipedia art articles. Wow. Wow. So that's like so they, they engage in psyops. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. Yeah, they can't turn back this truth. The truth is already out. Yeah. That's hey. why you out here. The truth is out now. You trying to learn truth. You want to learn the truth. Because here it is. They try to. They claiming to be Jews when you're a Jew. Right. Right. They right. try. They trying to steal your shit. <laughs> right. Trying. They did steal your shit. Yep. Number one, I did it. Number one, I did it. That's an amazing shit. Man. That's an amazing shit. And there's actually a scripture on how they uh, on that too. Daryl brought it out. I wish I could remember where that was. Oh, was it? I think it's a bad scripture too. I remember he brought it out one time. 
It's one of them mysteries in there, man. It's one of them that deep. It's one of them deep yeah. scriptures. <laughs> a lot so this, of book, this book is full of them, man. This book is full of nothing but mysteries. Nothing but mysteries that we have, we, we bring them out. Yeah, you could be studying the Bible for 50 years. <laughs> And you still, you still don't know it all. I mean, because you can, uh, you know what I mean? One day you could be reading the scripture and, and uh, you might get some understanding that you've never got before. And the Most High don't give everything to you at once. That's why a lot of brothers fall out because they read some of these scriptures out and there ain't no way. Ain't no way. We're gonna be having sex with a little 12, 13, 14 year old girls that just had their period. They can't take that. That ain't nothing. I've seen this article, the story they're doing on CNN, talking about this guy. He's like, he, he told me when I was 13 that he could righteously having sex with me by his religious beliefs. Wow. And they try to make the dude look like a demon. That's how they do it. You you well, most of these hoes out here in the, in the hood, they're getting pregnant by 12, 13. By the time they're 18, they bitch got five kids. You know what I mean? But they want to they wanna try to lock you up for having sex with a grown-ass woman. Say they, the devil set it up that way on purpose. Say, say they know a woman's ready to have sex around 12, 13, 14, you know, depending on the woman. So they know that they, they'll make it a crime so, so, so they know by the time she's 18, she's gonna don't been defiled, had sex with 100 men. More Pussy ain't got no friction up in it. Yeah, so so by the time she's at the legal age of marriage, she's no good. She's already spoiled. They do that intentionally. Just to spoil our women. They that goes back to the, the Amos scripture. Amos. But we're in the curses. That's part of the curses. That's, all women. That's just part of the curses. I'll read that real quick. This is all we got. This is it. Let me, this read, is it. let me read this real quick. I read this all the time, but we got to keep reading it. Which one you read? Amos. Okay. Amos 7 and 17. Yeah. Therefore, thus say the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. Thy land shall be divided by a line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. And Israel shall surely go into captivity poured down in his land. That's the ghetto. We just described the ghetto. Like That's the ghetto. Yep, yep. We gonna die by the sword. That's Ferguson. You know, constantly. Niggas just hating each other, just killing each other. Look at Chicago. You know? Chicago's oh. a goddamn war zone. And this whole fucking country is. And they're not doing yeah, this. And that's here in America. What are talking about? It's a great fucking nation. People are stupid, man. Yeah, the south side is a dangerous place. South, the whole damn city. Side, yeah, the whole damn city. Bottoms. Yeah, the bottom. The Ooh, east we side. We just drove through the bottoms. That shit was grimy as a motherfucker. Me and Paul walked through this part of the bottoms one time a couple years ago. Man, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, man. It was nasty. It's I filthy. couldn't believe what I was seeing. Shit, that's every day for me. You remember that? I could not believe what I was seeing. Shit, just filthy. And they was just standing out there like it was nice, man. Like it was nothing, man. Crack whores everywhere. Yeah. No raggedy ass houses. Look like they about to fall apart. To fall fucking apart, yo. My dad lived on the bottoms, bro. He lived in his house. His house was so goddamn raggedy. When you walk through the house, you can feel it shaking. The motherfucking floor is like this. You could put a ball on the floor and it would just roll down. <laughs> yeah, the balance is on. <laughs> yeah, it was unlevel. It wasn't level. <laughs> Shit was scary. I thought the house was going to go at any moment. <laughs> That's how all those houses on the bottoms are. You know what? I'm about to read one. I'm gonna read all this one. Cause this just breaks it all down. You know I'm a 28 and 15. Oh, um, this is why. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments, and his it says to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Keep going. We got. Let's read them curses. Now, let's go through it. Let's go read them. This breaks it down. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. It meaning, yeah, because we cursed in the city, and the, the field means you're working. 
Because right now, we back in the ancient world, your job was working on your property, you know what I mean? Or your father's land. That was your job. Growing your crops. Growing your crops. Raising your cattle. Right. You know. But now we ain't got no cattle, no field. <laughs> got right. So we cursed in the field. You know we don't saying? got nothing but to listen our backs. Yep. Pretty you know much. What I'm don't nobody own their own house. Nobody. If they do, they think they own their house. The bank owns it. Because you still paying taxes. Yeah. Oh you yeah. You pay cash for a house. You you made ten million dollars. You want to bought your cash house. You gotta pay property tax. You still paying on it. If you don't pay property tax, government takes your shit. <laughs> so you don't own anything. <laughs> if you gotta pay tax on something, that's not yours. <laughs> right. These are heathens right here. What's up, heathens? <laughs> They flock together and run together. And they all have shit in common. They're heathens. Curse shall thou be curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse ba basket mean when you go to the basket, you go to the store to go buy some groceries. Should be empty. You got like two items up in it. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to figure out how much groceries you can get with $20. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Budget. Eating goddamn ramen noodles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With MSG up in it. <laughs> you know what MSG is? Your dinner costs 60 cent. 60 cent? Oh, That's what, how much some ramen noodles, noodles oh, yeah. cost. The ramen noodles ain't good for you. You know, they taste good. Some, but they got, that shit ain't good for you. They got MSG in it. Oh, you know, MS, what is that? Monoglutin sodium? How do you say that? Monoglutin sodium? Sodium? Mono sodium gluten? Mono, mono, whatever. That shit. Uh, alters the uh, alters the chemicals in your brain. Common with Chinese food. What it does is it tricks your brain into thinking that the food tastes good. No, this is where it started in China, but it's well, in Japan, everything now. It started in Japan. There's oh. actually some Korean or Chinese food. The Japanese after World War II yeah, invented it. Was, it was in Japan, but it was, he wasn't actually from Japan. All right, there's an article on Wikipedia. But yeah, it was the, the Japanese who pushed the ramen noodles hard. Because that's all the food they had. They only had a limited supply of wheat, so they made the noodles out of it. The, the Japanese, they the same ones who invented the turd steak, the shit steak. You ain't heard about the shit steak? Over there in Japan, they, t they going up and the, they taking the sewage from, you know, everybody taking the shit in the sewage, and they taking the sewage and extracting all the proteins out of it, mixing chemicals with it, and turn making steaks out of them. Compress it, they compress it real, under uh, intense heat and weight, and make it into a stick. So they're probably doing Look, the same shit here. Over there. Yeah. It's popular, and I'm telling you, once you get here, which it probably are, is it probably is they, here. They ain't gonna tell you either. Right, right. They got steak right. burgers made out of shit up well, at McDonald's. Just actually actual scripture said we're gonna be eating shit. You know. So that's in Ezekiel, I think. Um, let me look it up. Oh, the Most High said we was going to feast on their dungers. Dung. That's what dong is, shit. They didn't say shit in the ancient times. They said dong. Well, the Lord actually said it. That's in Malachi. He said, On the feast he's gonna make you, yeah, that you're going to make you eat the dung of your solemn feast. There you go right there. That's in Malachi, the first or second chapter. Yeah, there's quite a few scriptures. Yeah. There. There's quite a few scriptures. Oh. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land. The increase of thy pine and the flocks of thy sheep. The fruit of your body, I say your children. You know what I mean? Children are cursed, little demon children. Keep going. Come out about monsters that don't listen. No. No. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. So this is this is another way if you can the people got a hard time figuring out who Israel is, then see who these curses apply to. You've you know been to church before, haven't you? Do they read church? Do they read scriptures like this in church? Yeah, they ain't never. <laughs> <laughs> they, they say the Old Testament done away with. You've been reading scriptures the whole time we've been out here, haven't you? Goes Eli Manning. We need to give you the truth, bro. The truth. Let's do it tight. Scriptures, the church has probably never read the Deuteronomy 28 chapter. No, nah, but see, even here, they're all cursed, they're all living in the ghetto. They don't even know about that scripture. Mm -hmm. right. But they go, their answers they get from the pastor is be patient, because the Lord will come save you, and, and 
and you're going to find you a job, the job you always wanted. Or you just got to sow your seed of faith. Mm -hmm. We're playing your seed. And I, in the meantime, uh, uh, here, there's a book, pamphlet to the Ohio State University. Pay $50 for my book <laughs> and God is going to grant you a miracle. Yeah, yeah, you got to put put some money in our offering plate. Here comes your other homie, other, yeah. other homie. No, if you, if you don't, uh, a lot of these churches, if you don't pay tithes, they'll excommunicate your ass. They'll kick you out of the motherfucking church. Like, man, you coming to all the... I support y'all, you know. He ain't trying to have motherfuckers just come up there and eat up his bread. Go see the boys there. Go see those motherfuckers. No, that's your homie. He comes and talks to us all the time. Them pastors know when motherfuckers just become the church just to eat. You're like, you came to all of our potlucks, but you didn't bring no dish or made no offering. You can't come back. That's his job to keep his shit possible. Like when I was at, yeah, fuck these churches. That yeah, goddamn joke. Come on. Everybody knows the church is a joke. You ain't gonna get no grown men to go into half these, none of these you know, churches. They'll laugh at your ass. Right. You, you see some comedies. They use church as some butter to some of their jokes, man. Yeah, because they know it's a joke. Right. That that's why cause that's why people make fun of the Bible. Shit, all the men that do go to church is just to pick up women. Or because their woman dragged them up in there. Or they got a a, a, a fucking accident and the child about to die. <laughs> or they lost a leg or something, you know. They they get They're, old and afraid to mm, die. Right, right. If something bad happens, people always look for Lord then. Until it wears out, until the memory of that accident fades away. <laughs> you know? That's why the only people up in the church is the old women. Old, fat. old women who's afraid to die. Those old fat men. Yep, they're getting closer to death. So now they, they, they realize that time is running out. So now it's time to be a righteous woman. Nobody wants a pussy. Anymore. Yeah, nobody wants that beat up ass <laughs> pussy. Because I'm telling you, all these bitches, some of these bitches in their 30s, yeah, and up, man, you get in the pussy, man, you don't even feel like you in some pussy, man. That's just right in the way. Yep. And that's in the scriptures, too. These bitches have rotten thumbs from being adulterous fucking whores. But it's just like Which that. Which was thick Yeah, I've seen that bitch from all the way over here. Good Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have, yeah, some of these bitches, their pussy's like the deep, dark abyss. They got no bottom. Right. Literally. Because she's been pounded so many times. Yeah. This is has sex with I ain't, ain't, ain't have this common sense to let her shit rest and marinate and breathe. And they, you know, they abuse their own selves, man, with their own pussy. But they're the black queen. They're intelligent, you know. We can go back and throw that bitch out the window like that. <laughs> right, right. Get us some pussy, man. This shit gets soft like ain't no sugar walls. Because that's the thing about pussy, man. It's, it's, it's too warm. Hey, bring your boy, uh, me and Dave was talking to over there on Fairgate. That dude, uh, remember that dude that got fired for smoking crack? <laughs> but we was talking to this guy for like eight hours. We stayed up all night talking oh, to him. Oh, I hated that shit. Y'all used to keep me up all night talking. <laughs> but this dude, he tried, he tried to tell us that the, uh, the bottomless pit in Revelation was the was the black woman's pussy. <laughs> yeah. right. What scripture he said the devil put up in the Bible? He's like, nah, uh, the devil put that in there. Any, any scripture, any scripture he didn't agree with, Satan put it in there. <laughs> But he, he said the bottom of his pit was the black woman's pussy. <laughs> he was true. I, I mean, on one level, that's not the correct breakdown <laughs> whatsoever. It's not for that, but... But man, right there, right there, it's kind of some truth to go with. What that dude's name was Eric. That's what his name was. Because he had a... He got fired from work for smoking crack behind the dumpster at work. Who the fuck smokes crack at work? Shit, why these fools do? Fucking who the fuck smokes crack? Why Your homie up your homeless dude up here, you could tell he smoked uh, crack. He yeah, was I like something, <laughs> nah, something's wrong with him. Dude. Nah, his teeth. He had oh, that shit he? on his teeth. Oh uh, maybe he was bugged out. I don't know. Israel loved that goat, man. Christmas, Christmas. The thing now is heroin. There's a government shipping in so much heroin now because they growing it in Afghanistan. That's why that's one of the reasons they in Afghanistan. Is to grow heroin, to grow the poppy pills. Cause you know, uh, you know what oxy cottons are, pain pills. Those come from the poppy plant, just like heroin. And the government's growing it over there in Afghanistan. That's one of the reasons they over there. Uh, plus, they over there to steal all the lithium. This giant, you know what lithium is? Uh, all, all, all of our phones are powered by lithium batteries. It's a metal. Yeah, so that that's why the 
they're over there in Afghanistan stealing all their resources, shipping drugs back over here. Because they keep everybody doped up on pain pills and heroin. So when everybody's high on drugs, it ain't a, it a motherfucking, they're in the days, they easier to control. You know what I mean? That dude just picked up some trash off the ground to make him look good in front of his girlfriend. Like, oh, man. <laughs> You can't, you can't, you, you gotta, this whole place is a piece of trash. You have to throw away the whole damn city. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I, I used to do that shit, be a dumbass, push you in the trash can. I just, just I get to throw shit. Right? Yeah, I told this shit, I'm like, yeah, fuck this shit, bro. There used to be this old ass lady on Parsons Avenue out there sweeping with their broom every day in the middle of the street, that was, sweeping. That was dangerous. That was dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, you fuck around with the wrong bitch, she'll have your ass sleep in the street in the parking lot. <laughs> you be living in a dirty ass house, but you outside sweeping the parking lot. I ain't gonna never forget that shit. Yeah, I'll do Dave, man. Woo, woo, woo. Do you hear anything about Dave? Oh, I, I was going to check his court papers today, but I forgot. He got locked up for yeah, he's not getting out but, for but a long anyway, time. Because he was out here teaching us with us for years, but this bitch... This is, this is a good example. He was out here for several years with us. But he was fucking with this bitch up in the apartments we lived at up in Fairgate. And this bitch was a damn straight demon. On all kind of drugs and she was just a demon, period. But this bitch had him out in the fucking sweep in the apartment's parking lot. He snuck out the back door with yeah, the he, broom. because he ain't never cleaned the house. Because he asked me for the broom. He's like, yo, he's like, yo, where's the broom at? I was like, why? He's like, I'm about to sweep the kitchen. Like, sweet, you gonna sweep? Really? I was like, here you go. I went in to check on him, see how it was doing. He snuck out the back door at the broom. He looked outside. He looked outside. I wish I got on video. He, that bitch out here sweeping the parking lot, bro. Oh, the parking lot. And a, a dirty ass, a, we got glass and trash everywhere. This motherfucker out there sweeping the parking lot. Ain't never cleaned his own room. He, had, he was actually breeding roaches up in his room. Open up that water cooler he had in his room. There's all kinds of dead ass roaches oh, up in God. it. All right, now we ain't talking shit about Dave though, because we already yeah, got we on are. Dave. In this case, Dave, you get out. Dave, you can't watch these videos up in prison. <laughs> no, he's probably trying to. He's probably okay, up already, in prison trying to. I already told Dave though. I was like, I was already told Dave, you lucky I ain't get that shit on video, because I would have uploaded it straight to YouTube. Uh, when Dave gets out of prison, though, his seven years is going to be up, so he can come back to the camp. Maybe. <laughs> they got to get a seven years. Yeah, we'd be out of here by then. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee that. Those things have to have seven more years. That's why... Uh, he already did, like, three of his years. I, I was... I was spending... I mean, I, didn't, I was about to let him come back out here again, but he was acting crazy. He went and robbed somebody. Went and robbed somebody. Yeah, that's a man of the Lord... He ain't supposed to be robbing Oh, people. yeah, his seven years started over you after robbing someone. You ain't supposed to be sitting at home <laughs> thinking of how to plot and break it in somewhere or stealing something. You don't think like that. Uh, he had a fucking pellet gun or some bullshit fake, fake gun, gun out of Papa matter, John's yeah. robbing their customers. I don't give a fuck how broke Oh, but he got shot at, too. He got shot at? Yep. But Mike C. was with him. Remember Mike C.? Mike C. Mike C. No. Uh, Kevin's nephew. I'm not sure if I know Big Cab's nephew. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Some no-gooders. Yeah. <laughs> Coming out here high on pills and shit. Oh, yeah, we had a dude, what's his name? Who, Lil' Kev? He Lil put his Lil shank Kev. out on someone. He's like 22, 23, 24 years old, man. And his whole life is committed to just looking how to get high on some get high. money, some buy some pills, get high. That's when you got a, a, a reprobate spirit. That's a demon on you. Yep. That's a demon. That's I mean, a real demon. I mean, the Lord can still be dealing with you, but he, the Lord will fuck you up, man. Even yeah, he'll fuck you up right yeah. now. Right, because he loses patience. And you, you, the scriptures say we're supposed to forgive our brothers seven times. Right, right. Seven plus seven. Chicken, 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 chicken. You're supposed to forgive your brother. Even they do some wild shit, they, there's still forgiveness for them, you know what I mean? Yeah, the real part is they not speak to him for a while. Yeah. But you know what? It's just so that our anger ain't nothing like the most high. But the most high lost patience with this dude. Now he's downtown in that jail cell. Or the workhouse, or wherever the fuck he's coming. Damn, look at this bitch. We'll have to go, he, he gonna 
yeah. sitting there for about a month. For a while before he goes to trial. And shit, yeah. you know? No, I'm pretty sure he already trial. got his arraignment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got to try you before 90 days is up. So he's going to be in there before they make him in mind to try his ass. That's not the first time he did some wild shit. Stupid mm. shit. Walk, yeah. Before he got locked up walking down the street with a shotgun. Mm. That's why we kicked him out of the camp the first time. Mm -hmm. Because he was walking down the street with a shotgun. I mean, but he's like, he's like, what law in the Bible says I can't have a shotgun? Oh, remember the time he stole the bottle of liquor off someone's porch in the name of the Most High? Yeah. That bottle. He's like, I stole that from Esau. I was like, how you know that? Well, that's what he told him. Shan said, how you know that was Esau you stole that from? You don't know that. This was really stupid. He was in German village. That's how he knew it was Esau. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh he's been sitting on them steps right there the whole time. Probably a combination of overdosed on acid or something. There are people that have mental disorders. They don't mind talking to you. Right. Yeah. They don't mind. They're not offended. You know. Just talk to them about it. You know, if you want. It might help him shit. Might, it might help him. That's when he got off the bus, he was like, I need this. When he got off the bus, he said, I need some of that. Oh, did he? Yeah, that's the first thing he said. He said, I need some of that. Because you ain't supposed to judge people if they look all fucked up right, and right. retarded and shit. Like, if somebody looks mm -hmm. over, you can't be looking down on retarded people like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's Because sometimes motherfuckers just might have spirits on their ass. Because you know what? You read the book of Acts. There's, a, there's accounts in the book of Acts that crazy motherfucker that the Lord just took that craziness out of him. Yeah. Well, he did that all the time. He said yeah. that Matthew yeah. 10 says uh, cast out devils. Yeah. yeah that's that, right. that's the spirits would be on people to uh, bug them out. They got mm -hmm. mental problems. Yeah. A lot of times those mental problems is freaking spirits it's on them. demons, yeah. yeah. Demons. People can deny these demons is real name. What, man? What, them motherfuckers, you ever seen the movie, that Denzel Washington movie? When um, John Goodman was in it, when uh, the spirit was jumping from person to person? I can never remember the name of that movie. Man. I know they play that song, Time is on Your Side. That's it, time. that's right, 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 right. It's a badass movie. Uh, I forget that's the name real. of it. Yeah. They just go from one to Yeah, they, 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 they can kill the dude and they jump yeah. right off of his ass. Right, that's right. how the demons operate. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, the demons can be in more than one spot at one time. Hey, right. That's a demon. It's a yeah. spiritual being. Oh, it's, yeah. it's a spirit. You know what's going to tell me? What's up, Holly? You guys were telling me? Tell us. Yeah. Tell for what? Set another thing on. I ain't worried about it. Why are we gonna tell on you, bro? Oh, just kidding. You're one of the bros. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're one of the bros. Right. Why would there be examples of demons in the Bible if they ain't real? You know what I'm saying? Let me try and find one. Well, I mean, you got the Lord, you get the Legion of Mark. That's the big one. Please shake your head. Chris, you She about to get broke. <laughs> Do a kickflip. It's impossible. I bet I can. I can't do one for the same my life. Oh damn! You a freshman here? No, I'm a freshman out of Beta. Where? What's up, the Beta? What's up? Oh, just hitting about? some scriptures. How are you? We out here. Good. We out here going hard. What's up? You believe in the Bible? Oh, oh, for sure, yeah. I studied the Bible almost every day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's good. That's, I've never heard a woman say that before. Well, you should meet a lot more of us. There's a lot out there. <laughs> and we just read a scripture. You know, the scripture say... Let me get it real quick. You just read it not too long ago. That people oh, I got that real You know, good. people say we're misogynists. They call it... What, what version are you reading out of? King James. Does it matter what book? It kind of does because the King James version is probably one of the least accurate. Least accurate? Yeah. Why you say that? Because it was translated by a man in old English that's not pronounced today, and the nasty, the New American Standard version has been translated from its original text. But well, what what text was that based on though? It's not based on the Texas Receptus, is it? Okay, so the King James is based upon the Texas Receptus, the Greek text. Okay. The the, te the Greek text that came out of Constantinople. You yes. know about Constantinople? I do. So the King James is the is the be the best Bible. The best. Put it this way: if you want to study the Bible, you got to study Greek and Hebrew. Okay. okay we can argue about the best English Bible all day. 
when it comes down to it, you gotta study Greek and you gotta study that's, Hebrew. That's true. If you really want to get to the root, you know I, what I mean? I the root. That. But I think at the same time, there's the C CSV is translated by different breaks in a, in like statements and phrases. The NASB is translated word for word. Mm -hmm. But no, but that, that's not. not that's wait, not wait, true. wait, wait, wait. But, but the NASB is translated, of course, word for word. So it's basically, it's literally translated from Greek and Hebrew to English. Well, when you read uh, the King James, is very accurate. You know, there's a lot of slanderers out here. Oh, I, I know. But I, check this out. When you read the King James Bible, it sounds more majestic. It sounds uh, more poetic. It's more, it's more beautiful. It sounds, it sounds, it has more power. If I read the same scripture out of this from another Bible, the King James is going to sound more authoritative. I could not agree. You know what I mean? I could not agree. And plus, you know, King James was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Did you know King James was a black man? What up? King James? Oh, it's cool, man. Exactly. What does the word English mean? It is a country and a language. He yep. was a... Aryan man. Aryan? Well, no, no, no. Aryan. He's not Aryan. Aryan, uh, Aryan is not, no. Aryan don't have nothing to do with the Pope. No, Aryan no. Aryan means blonde hair and Aryan, blonde. No, no, Aryan means, uh, Aryan is, a uh, Elamite. That's where you get the word Iran. It comes from, uh, Aryan. Iran. Then why did that, that's, uh, that's, they want Aryan people? That, that, that's BS. Blonde. Same the same thing that the, the, the Nazis used the swat. It's a swastika. You only keep hey, around black Aryan people. On the net. Okay. There's... Are you guys getting Bibles? You know you can't walk across that crosswalk without any Bibles. <laughs> well, King James was white. He was an English man. Well, he was I, yeah. What does the word English no. mean? King James was a black man, sister. The, the word English come from okay. Anglo, like Anglo-Saxons. Anglo... Anglo-Saxon is Irish no, no, and no, 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 Scottish. No. Yes, they're Vikings. Well, they're Vikings. Even the English were Vikings. The Vikings conquered. The English were not Vikings. Listen to me. The, the Vikings conquered England in 1066 under William the Conqueror. He was a he was a Norman Viking. First, the Vikings conquered Normandy in France, northern France. Then, in 1066, William the Conqueror crossed over the English Channel with a giant army and he conquered England. And then the Norman the English channels between England and France. Exactly. And uh, the the Norman Vikings. They conquered England, and they they were uh, the kings for hundreds of years. Like uh, you know uh, Lionheart, you know Lion Richard Lionheart, he he was a Viking. William, they was all descended from Vikings. But the Vikings lived all through uh, England. You ever hear of uh, Northumbria? No. It was all Viking territory for the most part. But all those people up there were all Israelites. Israelites yeah, check. literally means from Israel. That's a black man. That looks very much like a white man. No, and that's a black man. You can't prove that. looks just like a black man. You can't prove that. That's well, black we man. know that King James is a okay, so-called Okay, first legal. of all, human beings are, their ethnicity is determined from skeletons by their nasal cavity. Let's look at the nose. No. That's, that's exactly like, that's exactly like. <laughs> you know a whole bunch look of nothing. Look at his nose. You're confused. I'm confused. I said, you, you read, you read, you read. No, that's not no historical a fact. A human being, a human skull. They say the same they thing. Are, you know what a booty chin is. Race, that's what the Nazis say. Their race is determined yeah, by right. their nasal cavity because the nasal cavity for different genes come from the well, So, so what about my big ass nose? Okay, you could, you could either, some <laughs> black, there is a study, a black man thought he was black. He actually had, he, he was, a actually, he had actually, a, he had Arabian roots. So technically he was Arabian. Because of his nasal cavity, and they that's a confusion. Well, well, really, wait, wait, okay, hold I'm up. Sorry, no, I, wait, wait, I'm just gonna say this. I can debate with you guys all day about the Bible, but the fact that you told me that my information is inaccurate and I'm Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. And okay. further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books, there is no end. And many study is a weariness of the flesh. And let me tell you something you, you made a kind of a good point. That's Ecclesiastes 12. All right, according to the Holy Bible. Nationality is determined by who your father is. Nationality is not determined by your skin color. Skin color doesn't make you nationality. Was, Ju Judaism is a matriarchal religion to where, which that was originally Judaism. That was everyone was Jewish. Revelation Every, everyone, yeah, get Revelation 29. I just didn't study on Revelation. <laughs> Hebrews 
people in the Jewish community. You just it's a matriarchal religion. So, where's so it? therefore, they were they were trespassed by their mother, matriarchal but that, mother. But listen, let me. Uh, that's a good point. Cause you. you Hold on. Yeah, I'm not uneducated. You said 2011. No, no, you're right. That, that is. Listen, uh, the so-called Jews over in Israel. So they, they, Jews? they, they so Jews. no, they're and, not. And, and they're not Jews. They're from people they're in Israel. They're, they're Khazars. They're not, they're not the real Jews. They're, so they're Russian. Yes, that's where they come from. Russian and Poland. Poland, yes, not Russia. Po Poland. Is so if they're from Poland. How are they Israelites if they're from Poland? Um, because it's called migration. Israelites came listen, from... Listen, 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 Calm down listen, for a second. Listen, listen. We can be cool. We ain't got to argue. You know what I'm saying? We can be cool. Kick it. Talk. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty. So we're all poor, right? But thou art rich. What's the true riches? The true riches is the knowledge of the heavenly okay, Father. Well, what, listen. Well, hold I, on. I, I would like to hear what you have to say. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. The so-called Jews in the okay, state of Israel. Okay, he's talking about unbelievers. He's saying unbelievers who... What, what unbelievers are saying they're Jews? What? I ain't never seen that in my life. He's, it, it's a metaphor. No, it's not. It's a they're, metaphor. Not, so are you saying only Jewish people will get to heaven? No. They're not no, Jews. They're Edomites. Listen, 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 Those people are not Jews. Jesus was a black man. Okay, are you, are you listening? This is Revelation 3 and 9. Okay. Listen, Revelation 3 and 9 is another metaphor. He repeated his metaphor. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Right, like this song. Okay, he's talking about salvation. People that have not come into a relationship God. Would Jesus was Jewish? Just making up stuff as you go, huh? Um, excuse me, I know very much about the Bible. You just making up stuff as you go. Okay. I, gotta be right I can have this conversation, but not when you're telling me that I don't. I have not said that you are inaccurate. I have not said anything. That's really what you're proving. That is what I you're have, saying, though. I have We're reading the Bible. Yeah, We're reading the Bible. I have said that I disagree, but I have not said that your information is inaccurate. Hold on. But I have told you. So you're saying our information okay, okay. is accurate? I'm, I'm okay. not saying okay. I. Personally, I disagree, but I'm not saying that's inaccurate. I personally think it's inaccurate, but I'm he's that's cool, I though. think it's inaccurate. That's, he's it's, saying that my Okay, what does this mean? Inaccurate. What does okay. this mean? Proverbs uh, 9 I and 13. Proverbs. A I foolish woman book. is clamorous. Oh no. Oh, okay. She okay. is simple okay. and knoweth nothing. Okay. What's that mean? Okay. That's you just tell me, what does that mean? Break it, break it down. Are you trying to tell me that I, because I'm a woman, I don't know what I'm No, he about. said a foolish woman. A fool. A so are you Let me read it again. Foolish? Yes, that's very true. That's proper. Many foolish people Listen, that. listen. That applies listen. to all people. Not a just foolish people. woman is clamorous. Yes. What's clamorous mean? It's loud. What's clamorous mean? This is bad. Context clues, my call, I don't know it. I've never heard that word before. But my context clues, my inductive thinking would tell me that it means obnoxious, loud, annoying. Anything that ties with a full of foolishness. So you got a lot of Are you telling me though? because I'm a woman I'm, and I'm foolish? Is that what you know you're an Israelite? You know that? Don't tell me what you think I am. No, I know you're an Israelite. Because there's 12 tribes. Exactly. And, and at the end of time, you will all know where we came from. Okay, well, let me ask you this. What's we your know about the that? spirit. That's none of your business. We're out of curiosity. What's your I'm not telling you. Well, we don't need to know. We don't need to know. We're white, like dead, black. You don't know, and I'm not biracial. We do know. Because you're an Israelite. We know you're an Israelite. Okay. Only Israelites act I'm like you. I'm tired of having this conversation. You guys are close-minded we men. No, we're not. We know you are. not willing to listen to reason. And you are insulting me. Okay, by John 39 me I and 17. Women. Because okay. the I'm Most leaving. High hath deprived her of wisdom. You got no wisdom. Neither hath he imparted to her understanding. No understanding. <laughs> None. And the only person being rude was her. <laughs> we was trying to be cool. Like, calm down, bitch. She <laughs> came up saying we didn't know shit because we had King James Bibles. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they ain't got the sense hey, to shut the fuck up and listen. Because they, they, they taught that shit and they really believe it. You know, all that wasteless nothing. A whole bunch of useless information that's, that's nothing. And see, you know? and they get taught about them Jews over there. Like, if they go to seminary school or they go to college, all these colleges teach them that you got to worship those Jews over there. Right.